Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about integrating JMS brokers with Confluent using JMS Source Connector. The Kafka Connect JMS Source Connector is used to move messages from any JMS compliant broker into Kafka topics. It supports any traditional JMS brokers such as ActiveMQ, IBMMQ, etc. This connector uses JNDI to connect to the JMS broker, consumes messages from the specified topic or queue and write them into the specified Kafka topic. I'm going to build a JMS source connector config to source messages from the active MQ to the designated topic. So let's get started. All right, right now I'm on the active MQ broker page inside the admin view. Okay, so here I'm going to create one queue from where we are going to source the data to Kafka topic. Okay, so here we have an option to create a queue. So queue name is stock.trade.com q.v2 okay so i'll click on create so the queue is created so if i just go inside it okay there are no messages because we haven't pushed anything okay if i go back to queues tab here you have an option to send okay so if i click on send to okay here we can type any message any arbitrary message like json body xml body which we can push it to the queue all right we will do it later. So this is part of our active MQ. Now let's go and build the JMS source connector config. All right. So before we begin with building a JMS source connector, the prerequisite we require is to install the JMS connect plugin on your Confluent machines. So you can use this command showing below to install the JMS connect plugin. It's actually an Kafka Connect JMS plugin, which is required in order to build the JMS source connector configs. Okay, so once you install that, then you can start preparing the config file and install on the Confluent server. So let's get started. So here, as you can see in my workspace, I have created one JSON file called stock trade data JMS source connector version two. So this is my file. And here I'm going to write the JMS source connector config. Now, like I said in my previous tutorial, every connector has some common properties which are not related to that specific connector. Okay, so we will take that property first and then we'll take the later properties which are very specific to JMS. Okay, so the first property we have is connector.class. So connector.class. It's basically a Java class provided by Kafka Connect JMS plugin in order to build the JMS source connector. And the value is this one. Okay. Now, if you see this class is present under io.confluent.connect.js. So this is the new package which got added in your Confluent platform when you install that Kafka Connect JMS plugin. Okay. Then next we have task dot max max okay so number of tasks you want to create as always we have created only one task so i'll just write here one next property we have which is common to any connector is key converter okay so key dot converter again for conversion purpose i'm going to use abro conversion schema so i'll use that class io dot confluent dot connect dot avro dot avro converter class same i'm going to use for value conversion okay so value dot converter then same value given here now as you know along with these two converter and whenever you use avro converter you need to add two more properties that is schema registry okay so i'm going to mention it here so these are my two properties to point schema registry URL. Okay. Since I'm running on my local, so schema registry is running on HTTP localhost colon 8081 portal. So same for key converter and value converter. All right. So this is all about our common properties. Now we will start with the JMS specific properties. Okay. So the first JMS specific property is this java dot naming dot provider dot url okay so it's basically an url to connect to jms compliant broker 
like ActiveMQ, IBMMQ, RabbitMQ, etc. So here I'm going to use ActiveMQ which runs on TCP protocol. So I'm going to specify that server name here. Okay, so I'll remove this comments. This is my server. Okay, again it's running on local host. Port number is different. This is the default port for ActiveMQ servers. Okay, and it's running on TCP protocol. All right. Next property is Java dot naming dot factory dot initial. So it's fully qualified of the factory class. It's basically a Java class that will create the initial context factory for the JMS provider. Okay. So we need to give a Java class name here. Okay. So I will just remove this comment again and provide the Java class name. So this is the Java class name org dot apache dot active mq dot jndi dot active mq initial context factory okay next property in line is jms dot destination dot type it's basically the type of destination which is either queue or topic from where you're going to read the data okay so i'm going to read the data from queue so i will mention queue right then next property we have name of the queue okay the first we have mentioned the type now we have to mention that destination name okay so destination name i'll need to mention here okay this is my queue name stock dot trade dot q dot v2 all right then next property we have batch dot size the maximum number of records that connector task may read from the JMS broker before writing to Kafka. So how many number of records you're going to read from the JMS broker before you write or commit that offset into Kafka topic. So I'm going to take some lower number just for a demo purpose in a production environment. This should be in a higher level like 1000 or 10,000 number. Okay, here I'm going to take 10 or let's say 5 just we can re you know monitor on the control center. All right, then next we have max dot max dot pole dot duration. So maximum amount of time each task can wait to build batch of size given in the batch dot size property. Now we have given the batch dot size as a value five. Then how many seconds or milliseconds that task should wait in order to collect that? five number of records okay so this should be given over here okay now i'm going to give something like 20 thousand milliseconds so these many time this much of time like 20 seconds it should wait to collect that many records by default it has a value of 60000 seconds okay so let's keep 60000 second 60000 milliseconds and we'll go forward with it now next property is Kafka dot topic. It's the name of the Kafka topic where the connector writes all records that were read from the JMS broker. Okay, so it's basically the topic that we created. So here I'm going to use a topic. My topic name is stock dot trading dot data dot v2. Okay, so this is my topic name. So these are the necessary JMS specific properties we have added and here we are done with the jms source connector config okay now we have created this config now we will deploy this config and see how we can source the data from active mq server to kafka topic i'm right now on control center GUI. i have already created the topic where we are going to receive the data that is stock trading data v2 okay so i'll go to connect and upload my connector config i'll go to connect default click on add connector upload connector config file this is my file stock trade data jms connector v2 okay i'll select this click on open ensure all properties are correct here okay this is the name key converters okay then jms specific property like jms connection this is url initial context factory okay this is just destination the queue right Okay, everything looks good. This is the Kafka topic. Okay, I'll click on next. I'll click on launch. 
Now let's try pushing some data to that queue so that that will be received in our Kafka topic. Okay, so I'm going to push XML body. So this is the sample message I have created. Okay, so I'm going to push that. If I click send. Okay, you see number of pending message. Okay, I'll add one more here. Okay, same sort of message, something different amount. Okay, click send again. Okay, and now you see number of pending messages zero. That means it's been consumed by our connector. Okay, let's send one more. Okay, so we can verify we should have a three messages should be present in our Kafka topic. Okay, click on send. Right, three messages has been enqueued. Right. Now let's go to control center let's go to our topic and see if we can receive that message all right jump to offset here starting with offset zero now you see we have received all three messages which is being pushed in our jms queue okay if i change this view enlarge this you see this is the complete JMS message so some of these are JMS headers being added and our message will remain in the text it is a text message right I mean the JMS has an object and within it there are three JMS message selector one is a text second is a map one is stream and byte message but the default and the most commonly used is the text message where you can wrap anything like JSON body XML body anything you can wrap under text message Okay, now you see this is our XML body, right? Okay, so total we have received three messages. That means we have pushed three messages. So as and when, when you push messages to the ActiveMQ broker in your particular queue, that messages will be received here and will be available for different processing, right? So this way, we can build JMS source connector on Confluent platform to source the data from any JMS compliant broker to Kafka topic.